Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. I hope everyone is doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Now, guys, of course, before I get started here, I do want to say I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Okay, so uh, yes, I have been on a bit of a hiatus again, but it's okay. Lots of things going on. Um, some of the <laughs> some of the information that's being passed to me is really quite astonishing. Uh, but all in all, guys, you will see some of that here very soon. Um, we are entering into a week that could very well be a very important week. Could be the the best week uh, you've seen in a very long time. We'll see. But uh, all in all, guys, a lot of exciting things happening in the background, and even the news kind of shows you. Now, here we do have kind of an upward uh, movement by XRP, which is actually doing its own thing. I mean, it's going against the grain as far as most of these uh, other coins. Now, uh, the Binance coin is really very closely following XRP. Now, there have been some you know, conversations about the closeness of these two uh, and with finance and, you know, I'm not going to get into all of that, but guys might want to keep your eyes on that. And also Tron, as well as Cardano, are really looking to be following XRP. So we'll see, see how this all turns out. OK, another thing too, live coin watch, they have something coming up, obviously something pretty important as they say here get ready for an all new site hang tight while we roll it out that uh, i'm looking forward to that uh, definitely more so than coin market crap i mean cap sorry um so yeah uh, lots of good things going on now let's go ahead and get into the first article here report g7 says global stable coins pose threat to financial stability well in my opinion there is no financial stability Right. Because the whole <laughs> the global financial system is you know, it's really shaky right now. Uh, to me, it seems that stable co coins could do exactly that. It could stabilize things. Now, uh, who knows what will actually happen? But uh, but yeah. And also the whole situation with Libra isn't looking good. And guys, uh, I've said before that Libra was never really meant to do anything. Uh, I don't believe it was ever meant to be, do anything other than kind of kickstart uh, kick things. So I don't know. Um, it, you know, as we see here, also several um, companies have backed out on Libra. Uh, what is it? Um, MasterCard. Yeah, here we go. Libra has several uh, has seen several major partner firms of its governing consortium leave the project recently. On October 4th, major payments network PayPal uh, withdrew from the organization and was soon followed by Visa, Mastercard, Stripe, and eBay. That's that's huge. That's uh, that's quite a <laughs> quite a list to lose right there. But um, you know, like I said, all in all, guys, there's a lot of a uh, lot of things happening in the background. A lot of flux. Um, so I do believe we're going to see, you know, the effects of all of these things coming up starting, I do believe this week. So let's go ahead and move on to the next article. This is going to be kind of a short video guys. Um, uh, after I finish this, I'm going to, you know, just kind of share a piece of what, what's going on in my head. But anyway, ripple pushing to launch XRP in trillion dollar derivatives market unveils new X spring investment. Okay, Ripple says its recent investment in Vega Protocol is designed to help spur adoption of XRP in the world derivatives. Vega Protocol recently raised $5 million from a number of investment firms, including Ripple's X Spring, in order to help build and roll out its decentralized derivatives platform. Guys, this is pretty daggum huge right here because you know, uh, what is it, derivatives uh, in the... Traditional market is like a quadrillion or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I know it's uh, it's pretty huge. So I don't know. It's something we need to keep our eyes on. Um, again, guys, we could see some movement. 
Uh, we'll see. I, I, I'm, I'm betting, and this is just me betting. I don't know. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there because I like to guess sometimes. I, I feel like we're going to see something very nice before the end of the month. Uh, you know, and then on top of that, with swell coming, hey, good things could be on the way. Anyway, um, now guys, I do want to tell you this. There are um, <laughs> other uh, other people who love uh, other cryptos, namely Litecoin. I saw someone uh, that posted and said that their average buy-in is going to allow them to uh, essentially get more XRP than many of us who've been holding for a long time. Now, personally, I I look at it like this. The whole market has taken a hit. Now, unless a lot of these people were buying uh, buying uh, Litecoin back when it was really cheap and then they allowed it to go up and they had profits there, then to be honest with you, they're really in kind of the same position because Litecoin went, you know, it did drop. It came back up a bit, but it is not anywhere near the highs that it, it, it had reached. I mean, anywhere near that, right? So any money that they had in it is still has still not been um, recouped, you know, as far as in the price of Litecoin. So if they are switching over to XRP, yes, they are being allowed to buy in fairly decently, but nowhere near where they could have been if uh, if they had uh, bought in when Litecoin was really, really cheap. So. Uh, I personally don't think that, uh, you know, anyone has much of an advantage over those of us who have been around uh, much longer. Yeah, there were a lot of us that bought in, uh, you know, at higher prices, even in the dollar range. Uh, but many of us got in when it was far below a dollar. And uh, also uh, we were, you know, if being smart, dollar cost averaging. Uh, there have been multiple, multiple times where we've had opportunities to go ahead and uh, do some more buying. So, um, guys, uh, you know, it's uh, I personally believe there's nothing to be worried about uh, or to worry about. Um, just keep on doing what you're doing, guys. You are doing the right thing, I believe. And this is my opinion. You're doing the right thing if you are invested in XRP. Um, we shall uh, or rather we will uh, come out on top. I, I just totally believe that there are going to be people who, uh, you know, don't <laughs> who don't want to uh, adopt that type of mentality. They're going to stay in these other projects, which is, hey, that's all of our own decisions to make. And uh, hey, more power to them. I hope they are very successful in, uh, in their endeavors. But I know myself. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, very, very, very slightly diversified. I have a little bit of money in other coins, but to be honest with you, the majority of my investment is in XRP. And uh, guys, also, um, the other day I was speaking about getting your coins off the uh, off the exchanges, which is always a very, very smart idea. But all in all, um, it looks like the immediate issue that was going on at the time may not be there uh, any longer. Now, I'm not going to tell you whether to store your coins offline or online. It's totally up to you. Um, but uh, I don't think there is uh, really a, a serious threat right now. Now, there's we don't know what we don't know. But from what I was uh, going over at the time, at least that particular issue uh, doesn't seem to be as important at this point. So uh, that's really, you know, neither here nor there, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. So uh, other than that, guys, I um, I really appreciate your your participation. Uh, participation. Man, I cannot talk tonight. Um, and uh, I do plan on doing more live streams. Uh, I have some other projects that I'm working on as well. I, I created another uh, YouTube channel, uh, and it involves uh, something that I am highly, highly interested in, uh, and I'm, I'll probably share it with you guys. But I kind of want to get it, uh, you know, kind of get in the groove before I do that. I'm gonna uh, be doing some interviews over there and 
all that. You know, also I do have my car channel as well. Uh, so a lot of uh, very, very good things. I'll, I'll be doing these things no matter what happens with XRP. So uh, pretty exciting times. I mean, definitely for myself. So uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, making more videos here and, and really kind of uh, looking at things a lot differently considering, uh, you know, where XRP goes, if the price goes up or whatnot. Uh, I'm going to be adding some variety into this uh, doing the health stuff actually I do have something to show you guys um, on that front as well as you know you know adding a few uh, gaming spots here and there you know like I said I do love that uh, but guys a lot of exciting stuff that I, I want and I have in store so let's uh, let's keep our eyes on the prize <laughs> and and stay positive uh, guys I think we have a lot uh, headed our way so anyway if you haven't done so already guys please hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button and the post notification button come back and see me again until next time this has been mr free coiner take care of yourselves and god bless you.